The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 318. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a phenomenal lady on the show today. She is a image coach and influencer, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us on self-confidence. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Celestia Faith Chong. Celestia, how are you doing today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hi, Sheena, and hi, everyone who's listening in. I'm Celestia. And uh, as Sheena has mentioned, I'm, in, I'm actually an image coach as well as an influencer. So, so basically, how I got inspired being an image coach is, um, you know, I started my pageant journey being a Mrs. Singapore finalist in 2014, I mean, having two titles as Mrs. Comedy Service Queen as well as Mrs. Star Essence. And I actually, you know, move on, you know, the following year to actually help them being the YouTube host in Mrs. Singapore TV. And from which, you know, being an influencer, I also get to post interesting, you know, cover interesting events like the Media Corp Rotex Max Challenge, being their official blogger. And, and this year, you know, um, I actually covered the uh, Who is Jesus, uh, one of the musical, the official blogger in Esplanade as well. And this also adds up to uh, me being the ambassador for Base Entertainment as well as the Face and Body Skin Ambassador uh, in, in 2016. And uh, last but not least, you know, I'm actually fortunate, you know, to start this um, tiny group for single moms called Solo Bliss, whereby single moms in Singapore, we do we do gather and help and support each other. And yes, thank you, Sushina. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what's your cultural background? Well, uh, my parents, they are both Singaporean Chinese and they have very traditional thinking by nature. And uh, I was actually brought up in a very strict manner with like hardly any toys and very disciplined lifestyle, you know. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something most Asian, you know, women can deal uh, like can relate to, right? <laughs> and, you know, Celestia, what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? Right. My favorite self-confidence quote, I would say, would be love being the in, the perfect imperfect me and making a difference in this imperfect world. So in conclusion, is loving self, loving life, and loving all. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's a great quote, loving self, loving life, and loving all. I mean, it all starts with love. And I think we forget that. And it's it definitely starts with ourselves. You know, it's hard for some, for some women to love themselves, especially how they were brought up, just because... They just feel like they're not worthy or they feel like they need somebody else's love to feel that worth. And, you know, not realizing like it just starts from with us. So we can when we can learn to just love ourselves, it can, you know, really bring so much stuff, you know, attract the right things into Mm -hmm. our life. So I really love that quote that you mentioned. And in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? Well, it's it's. It actually relates to the quote that I actually just shared. It's about loving, you know, it's actually loving yourself as being who you are and believing in your dreams. Because I, I believe no dreams are actually too big to be achieved. You probably could achieve just part of a dream, but you're working towards it. And that makes your life, you know, it gives your life a whole lot of other uh, much meaning and, and add that kind of passion and zest in what you want to achieve at the end of the day. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I totally agree with you with, you know, going after your dreams. I always believe if you can dream it, you can, you know, you can do it, you can create it. I mean, it all starts from our head. You know, some of the greatest inventions in right now started from someone's mind, someone's dream, and look how they were able to go out there and just do it. So love that definition that you mentioned. And Celestia, what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? Well, I, I actually live a very routine life doing my best as a mom and my wife and a wife and my life just encircled around within my family and nothing more. So I didn't really spend much thought about me being me. And I realized that, hey, you know, that's that's not what life all about. And that's not what Celeste is all about. I know within me I could do more and I know within me I could help many more out there, you know, me being me. Thanks for sharing that. And I think that's something we all can relate to, right? We just, you know, follow this like rigid path, <laughs> you know, 
that's been <laughs> that's been brought down to our like our parents and loved ones and it's like if we go out of that people might think we're nuts or something's wrong with us and not realizing like you know we don't have to follow that rigid path we don't always have to follow that routine life because there's things that we're not going to be able to control or go out of whack and we just have to learn to accept it and move on and learn from it and you know what was that point in your life when you realized you were more than enough to be the person that you are today you know what was that aha moment Basically, I've got two aha moments. One is a very motherly one, which is having kids and taking part in, in the pageant. You know, when I had kids, I actually have two life and death situations, you know, when I have my first try and third. And this gave me a, a whole different perspective in life that, you know, being alive is actually not to be taken for granted. Or, or rather, you know, every moment is a gift. You know, a gift to enjoy love, faith and hope. And first, I treasure every single moment with my three angels and my close friends. And even making a point to stop by or slow down my sets to look at the blue sky, breathing it deeply and appreciating the peacefulness in the park. Or smiling to the next person that walked past, which we hardly do. And we, we all tend to neglect that, that simple gesture of kindness in a tiny way to pay it forward in our busy lifestyle. So for me, I advocate strongly towards my kids, you know, love education. Do not hold back my hugs and kisses for them. I'm not that perfect now you know to spend lots of time with them but i do make sure that i, I make that effort and in okay at least to the person that's more important you know to me you know than them being a scholar and and the values of being able to love and respect self and others so i would say my second aha moment would be ha moment would be you know joining a pageant in 2014 it, it was a huge step that i actually made for i was never competitive and i had extreme stage fright so the thought of standing on stage and even performing were you know definitely daunting so i pushed myself and glad that i managed to do the best i could and it gave me so much valuable experience you know uh, thanks to an event organizer from erm angela and alex plus the other pageant queens who were with me in, in the journey it also made me realize that i i had you know lost myself to and, and short change on what i could actually do you know after getting married and, and it's also the year that i decide you know, I, I ought to move on my life and that's it, you know. But it, it was the best, I, I, I would say it is the best decision that I've made for myself. Since then, I, I took up a niche consultancy course to upgrade myself and, and to make a difference to others by coaching them to empower them with the right knowledge to look and feel good. I believe that will enhance their quality in life and I had the opportunity to act MC, model, coach, and, and much more than I could ever imagine. And at the same time, of course, I, I, I make terrible mistakes along the way. Well, I learned from the, those mistakes and I'm, I'm happy, you know, uh, that, that in the midst of, you know, being who I am as I am, I'm, I'm also involved in the various volunteer activities to give back in whatever way possible. So, yeah, so that's my two AHA moments that I had, you know, during this, this span of, like, marriage until now, like, 10 years. So these are the two major ones that I, I really love to share because these are the two that make a great, I would say, it really marks a great milestone in, in how I change my perspective in life and how I would like to move forward. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, it's it's great that you're able to, um, you know, face your fears by taking pageants, right? I mean, I know some people may think may not take it seriously, you know, not realizing like these pageants really do help women change how they look, not change how they look, but change how they look on the inside so that it kind of, you know, it shows on the outside. And, you know, just even experiencing, like you've mentioned, stage fright. I mean, I'm sure that's like the greatest fear most people <laughs> deal with. I know I would be. You know, and just to face face that one fear alone is like a huge accomplishment. And, you know, and I also meant, you know, I, sh I also like that you mentioned, you know, we take little things for granted, which is so true, you know, living in this busy world, especially in the busy world of social media. Now where you know, everyone has ADD. It's like we just forget to sit down and like smell the roses. Yeah. So, you know, really, you know, glad that you're able to um, do this. And now you're 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 an image coach helping others be empowered and live life on their terms and, you know, let let them know how you know how much worth they have right and they can go out there and do their own thing and you know to the woman who is listening to your episode she may be in her own journey of self-confidence what would be that one tip you would give to her mm, okay i think i would say that uh, you need to start by really loving yourself and do not be afraid to change and love uh, and and leave your dreams and start by looking good and being positive about life don't wait for others to make a difference for you for you yourself have the ability to do so in your own humble way 
Those are great tips. Thanks for sharing that. And I love that you mentioned don't be afraid to go out there and change and live your dreams because sometimes we will, you know, we have to change, you know, to in order to do the things that we want. And I know change can be hard and scary and, you know, freaky because we are so prone to like certain expectations and we're not used to like the unknown, but that that unknown can be such a beautiful thing. So, you know, thanks for sharing that. And if our listeners wanted to connect with you and get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Oh, of course. You know, you could actually have my my Facebook profile is Celestia Faith Chong in Facebook. And uh, my Instagram is actually Miss Babe Love Babies as in M S. B A B E L O V E B E B E S. As you could see, I advocate love like I have love in all my clothes. So it's the same thing for my blog spot. That'll be Miss Babe Love B B S at the M S B A B E L O V E B E B S dot blogspot dot S J. So yep. So these are the ways you could uh, connect with me. Or you could PM me anytime on Facebook. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you want to connect with Celestia, you can also head on over to the Tao of Self-Confidence dot com. And search for Celestia's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Celestia for taking the time to share her story with us. So thank you so much. Thank you, Sheena. Thank you for the opportunity. Not a problem. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll catch you later. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Get your free audiobook by visiting our website at thetowofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.